Hi all, this is Taylor with 10up. I'm going to go over how to set up remote debugging with Xdebug and PHPStorm. Uh, pretty much in the context of varying vagrant vagrants, which I'll pop the link into the video here. So this assumes that you have a vagrant virtual box installed up and running, and that you've got Xdebug turned on. Uh, with varying vagrant vagrants, it's all set up and ready to go. In fact, there's very little uh, to do. So what we're looking at is PHP Storm, and I've got 2013 open. This is what we're going to debug. Um, and there's one thing that we that's kind of critical to make sure that happens, uh, and that is setting up the path mappings. And what this means is that uh, Vagrant is running in a virtualized environment. So to PHP and Xdebug, when they're running, it seems like the files are being served from uh, you know the root directory of the server, SRV slash www slash, and then you know wherever the site is in. But to PHP Storm, those files could be anywhere on your computer. So we have to tell PHP Storm, hey, you know, Xdebug is going to tell you this one thing, and you need to translate that or map this over to a different path on your local system. And it turns out it's, it's fairly easy to do. Uh, we're going to pop open the preferences here, go to the PHP tab under Project Settings. This is project dependent, and we'll click on Servers. Uh, when you first start up, or depending on how you've set up your project in PHP Storm, there might be something here, there might not, but we need to add a server or, or configure one that might already exist. And I'm going to configure this for where I have, uh, you know, the, the incoming URL that's going to, that Xdebug is going to report, uh, which in this case is local.wordpress. Um, Dev. Everything else over here, as far as the port uh, and debugger, can be left. Xdebug will, uh, you know, use or this site will use port 80, and we are using Xdebug. Uh, and then we do need to use path mappings, which will bring up this dialog here. And this is kind of a unfortunate user interface for this, um, but it is pretty critical. So this is where these files are living on my local computer, uh, and where they're going to live in Vagrant. Uh, in the actual virtualized environment is SRV slash www, right? So I pretty much can just copy everything. Unfortunately, I can't actually copy, um, but I need to put over here. So I just double click SRV, dub, 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 WordPress trunk, w content. And that's all I need to do there. So I'll click apply. That is set up and good to go. Um, I'm going to do some stuff to make my life more sane. I'm going to flip over here to the debug tab. Uh, there are some options here. I like to turn off these force a break at the first line because there are stuff. There is stuff here that is outside of the project. So I've only loaded in 2013. Uh, for instance, I'm just working on a theme, so I haven't loaded in all of WordPress. Now I typically do uh, as a kind of an external resource, and I'll have to set up the path mappings for that. But for this demonstration, I didn't do that, and I don't want to force a line break when there's a script outside the project, because there will be. I also don't want to force a line break when there's no path mapping specified. I just don't care. So I've turned those off. Um, everything else for varying vagrant vagrants can be left at its default. Uh, Xdebug will connect. Uh, will attempt to connect on port 9000. It will attempt to create that external connection, so we're good to go. So I'll click OK here. Last step. Uh, we are going to turn on, or we're going to say, hey, PHP Storm, listen for incoming connections from Xdebug. And we're going to set a breakpoint right here in this function. Um, at this point, this is where the magic happens. I'll flip over here to local.wordpress.trunk.dev, uh, where 2013 is running. I will refresh the page, and it will cause PHP Storm to intercept and, break and pause the script. So at this point, I am in step through debugging. And I can inspect, for instance, the classes, a variable that was passed to this function, uh, what is already in that array. And as I step through this, I can see if this uh, is going to change. I can modify some of these classes. I can uh, run code to see you know, what, uh, what get option show avatars is actually going to result in. Um, and I can I can manipulate this. So this is super super handy. Uh, there's a lot here to uh, to find out. You can uh, step over functions, step into them, uh, you know, step on out of them, etc. Or just or just let this thing run. Um, and that is how to set up Xdebug with PHP Storm for vag vagrant vagrants. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat or stop by the GitHub URL, post your issue, and talk with us. Um, have fun.